Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Grimshade. So in the last episode, we were trying to tackle one particular quest. And don't quite have the money to do so. So we're going to go find another quest. While we build up the funds for this one. And I think the other quest that we want to work on... Is going to be... Down in the lower districts. The red card, Captain Bran, and the last champion of Bran. Yeah, we got plenty to do down here, apparently. We'll go check it out. So in the last episode, I know I didn't do very good with uh, Ruby's voice. I'm going to try a little bit, uh, a little bit harder this time. Not too good with uh, female voices, so... Something to improve upon. I think we should start with the northwest, past my home. It's the closest to the middle city, where the best Pierre soldiers haven't taken a foothold yet. That means we'll face less resistance there. Then we'll move on to more difficult areas. Let's stretch these cranky old bones. Onward! Okay, excellent. So we will go fight more stiff. It is extremely expensive to get medical supplies, so we're going to try and use much less of those. So, I feel like we've already been here, but there must be something we missed up here, so... Oh yes, we couldn't go this way because we wanted to stop by Mum's house. But we've done that. So now we're going to go down here. We should exercise caution from here on out. I can see soldiers patrolling. Keep an eye on those medical supplies. If we run out, we should head back for the tavern. Wawaru always has some in stock. Right, I'll keep that in mind. You ready, Kiba? Ready. Alright, let's do this. I guess, uh, Wynn's got nothing to say to us. Ah, here's a Valkyrie. So it's combat time. I probably should have looked and seen what uh, we were fighting. It looks like we've got... We want to get behind him. And we'll have her over here, actually. Perfect! Um... Actually... Yeah, no. Right here is fine. Let's do this. So it's Wynn's turn first, or Ruby. Hide and seek. Ruby hides behind an ally's back. Wait, Ruby hides behind an ally back. What? <laughs> uh, skill conditions are not met. Okay, so we can't do that. 20 physical damage, 10 tension, ignores armor, and avoidance. Okay, that sounds awesome. So we can do... what's this do? Oh, there! Backstab! That was awesome! Oh, she's got a lot of avoidance and she can strike back. Wow, Ruby's gonna be amazing. So we're mostly gonna use our Sentinel. What the hell? Oh yeah, Confuse. Okay, let's do that. He's confused now. <laughs> I haven't tried that yet, so I was excited to give it a try. So she's dead. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Ruby's a beast. Oh, he was confused, so he moved. That is all. So let's see, he's not going to take any direct damage anytime soon. And I think we'll be able to take down... Oh shit! How'd he do that? Uh, apparently she does not, uh, guard. Oh, I thought she was a guard. She's not. Lesson learned. Oh, someone's down. Can I not hit her? No, no, can't do that. That's weird. Here, let's confuse him again. She's definitely in melee range, but I couldn't hit her. Weird. Let's kill him. And then with her. 
We'll do a back step. Actually, what does this do? Party time! Moves foe by 10 time units back in the action queue. Oh, okay. So she is now not going to recover? Yeah, not for a while. <laughs> Damn. Alright, we're going to try this again, I guess. And with him, we'll try and keep this guy confused. Oh, and it does damage, so that's awesome. Good night. And goodbye. And then with her, we can do nothing. We can do nothing. Okay, so she's back. It won't help her. Gonna confuse her. Well, actually, let's, uh, let's do this. Just in case she does hit me, we will stun her. And it is his turn, so let's apply some darkness. Yes, eat that. And then with her, we can do nothing. So. But we'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, I forgot to take down her avoidance. Wow, I feel really silly. And Wynn can't do anything. That's weird. I thought she got... Oh, maybe it uses something, and I don't have any more of that something, whatever it is. That kind of sucks. Oh, she didn't quite stun herself. That's unfortunate. We're going to shoot her. And then a little bit more sludge. Mmm, sludge. Oh, I hurt myself. Oh, no, we can. We can use the party time again. Party time! Too far away to do anything else. Yes! Just die, please! Please die! Alright, that's a win. So let's see here. I guess we just keep on moving down. Where are we going here? What is this? Ah, stuff. Excellent. Oh. For the crown! For Bren! Too much grandstanding, handsome. Where did I put those damn bullets? Wins tear me to shreds. Is this what they're throwing at us now? A woman? An elderly Elori? Dog and a pair of rascals? Wait a minute. That's a dark champion! I thought we got all of your filthy ilk. Careful, men. Don't let this one turn. You'll pay for what you've done. A lorry dog, eh? Yo! I shall deal with you personally. Alright, let's kick their ass. Let's show them what for. So... This isn't a bad position for her to be in, but it's not the best either. I didn't know he was hurt. Oh, that's right. I need to move him. Damn, that was stupid. All right, well, we'll have to kill these guys first then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, and he's going to move my people around. Oh, thanks. Actually, that kind of helps. Appreciate it. So he's got one avoidance. We'll use the pistol then. Yeah, he avoided. That's fine. And we're gonna use this on him, because he's gonna die. Of course he's gonna shoot him. So I made a huge mistake. I keep thinking that she's a guard. Uh, like a sentinel. She's not. Keep doing that, though. Okay, let's try and shoot this guy. Yeah, he's done. And then, what do we do from here? I guess we'll go after this guy. And then he's gonna move us around a little bit. Or he's gonna try. Damn, she's kind of a badass. I like her a lot. 
So once again, we're trying to take out this guy. First. Damn. Damn, what the hell? Interesting. Let's shoot this guy again, he should be dead. Yes. And then we get to sludge somebody. There we go. Wow, she's super weak. Huh, interesting. She's got almost no health. Um, and she gets over over tensified, over tensed too easily. So that sucks. All right, well, let's finish this up and we'll go back to the tavern. Damn. Seriously, what do you have, like, one hit point left? Two! It's got two health! Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, he hurt himself. Okay, so he's done. But now... Yeah, he's gotta move over to us now. Avoid. Huh. Okay, so... He's got an avoidance as well. So we'll shoot him so that we don't lose too much. Oh no, it costs the same. Damn. There we go. Avoid it again. Damn, you suck. Oh, he's down. There we go. So good, we did okay. I mean, we're learning. I didn't realize... If we are to take their words at face value, it seems like all champions have been defeated. If that's true, then Bran is now defenseless. Our army is courageous but small in number. They are trained to fend off the umbrages, not fight in a siege. What did he mean, don't let him turn? Turn where? Or into what? The most foul, cruel, and bad-tempered beast you've ever seen. This is no time for jokes, Ruby. Oh, wait. Looks like you've already turned into one. I'll ignore that. I don't know what they're talking about, Kiba. My first stash is very close. It's in a wall in that house to the north. Let's grab it and head for the barracks in the east. Wonderful. So... Oh. Stuff. Locals would remember this symbol for a long time. Well, that's too bad. I can't actually get into that. But that one I can. Excellent. So cool. Let's... Oh, we got some medical supplies. We're not going to use the medical supplies. We're actually just going to go back. Um, and then just come right back here. To the Spicy Wind Tavern. For some ale and some R&R. &R. And then we will be right back. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go through this a couple of times. Because each time we fall in battle, we'll, we'll especially want to come back to recover um, our broken bones or whatever status ailment that we'll have. We can recover it at the tavern. And where are we headed now? So we don't need to kill this guy. We've, we just need to progress. Um, apparently we need 2,000 gold. And I have 769. Boy, oh boy. It's gonna take some farming. Which we're not gonna do. Not right now. But we gotta get back to where we was. Let's see here. Lots of pretty trees. See, I'm surprised we can't go into the sewer. That is a cute little sewer grate there. Manhole cover with a sexy looking sheep. Mmm, sheep. Mm. Okay, so. We can't go through this. We can't go past this. Oh, we can look in the tent. Command tent. Only dirt and rats inside now. How unfortunate. Is this a little passage? Like, can I go over here? I can't imagine. No. What about over here? We got stuff. Wonderful. So this guy is two of those and two of those. So we just kind of defeated one of those. Um, we know how to set up our party better now. 
We'll go ahead and make sure we do that. And there's more stuff down here. Okay, great. Oh, shit! That guy's coming. We don't want to fight him. There's a lot of him. What's this guy? Oh, it's Guka! What the hell? Uh, how did I do his voice? What do you need? Oh, it's you! Well, hello! Uh, who are you? The name's Gookin. We've met already, haven't we? I remember you, but uh, we weren't properly introduced. Can I know more? You're the streetman, right? Ruby's friend. Boss! She's the boss! Wins? Yeah. And what of it? I thought we could talk. Maybe. About what? How about why you steal from people and abandon them in the sewers? Oh, that. Don't look at me like that. We saved you already, didn't we? That means we deserve a little reward. Living is better, isn't it? That's what I thought. It's still not right. I, I haven't forgiven you. Give me a break. We've already returned everything, boy. Just my specialty. I didn't do it on purpose. I always take what's lying around. Fedora sets it up and Darcy picks up the target. And my hands are really sneaky. Just look what I got. Take it. It's yours. Well, now do you forgive me? Thanks, Kuka. I'll think about it. But these are still all stolen things. Well, what do you need these things? I'm not going to go out and look for the guy who dropped them just to give them back to him. Fair enough. So we got some gloves. What can we do with these gloves? It's it's equipment, right? So somebody's got new gloves. Oh, it's for... It's for, um, what's his face? Alistair. We want to keep this. Gloves with additional protection of the knuckles. They will protect hands from glancing blows and melee combat. So that's opposed to strong gloves. No, they're the same. What the hell? I guess I can sell them. Oh, no, they're not. Good. Excellent. So they do. There's something. Oh, there's a whole fight going on down here. Maybe we can help out. There. We need to get through that to reach the barracks. It looks like our soldiers are holding the line. Let's help them out. There's no time to lose. Let's do it now. Wow. There's a lot going on here. So let's see. I don't know why she's back. But we'll move her up one. Oh, man. She just chunked the spear. Oh, he avoided it. Awesome. Okay, so we've got some options here. Honestly, I think since this guy doesn't have any avoidance, we'll go ahead and hit him. Yes. And we'll take him out as quickly as we can. And then it's the enemy's turn. No, it's our turn. So we've got our own guys that um, we can't control, but who will help us? Um, I think I think I might have her take out the Valkyrie first. And then I'll make sure she gets the back lines. That sounds good, actually. This could work out very well for us. And we've got some decoys over here. Damn, they are getting shot to hell, though. Yep, he's dead. Oh, he's gonna charge up his shield, so now when he gets hit, it'll shock people. Okay, I gotta be careful with her. She builds up tension too quickly. So how do I deal with that exactly? Let's hold off on him. We'll use him next round. Ah, this guy's almost dead. Avoid. Yeah, that's not good. Ow. Alright, so we're going to snipe somebody here. Probably this guy. I'm gonna have to shoot him twice, though. Or wait, is he... Damn, 
This is a long line. I don't know if... But we'll find out, I don't know. Oh, she lost some tension. I wonder how she did that. Maybe when she counters, she loses tension. I don't know. No? Just each round, I guess it goes way down. Huh. Okay, we'll get this guy again. Take his avoidance down. Yes, we need to kill her. There, yeah. So, Charlie will act before the end of this round, so he'll take this guy out completely. Wow, that was really shitty, because I couldn't put her behind anybody. So there was literally no way for me to save her. Oh yeah, she can hit people behind uh, guarded lines. That sucks. Well, let's see here. I don't know what else to do with him. And then, of course, I'll use him to take out the Valkyrie. She's so close to dead. There we go. Good, good. Not that this is going poorly, but it could be going better. Yeah, he got shot, so he wasn't able to do his, uh... Damn, I put so much prep into that, too. It's kind of shitty that uh, he could be hit, even though he's guarded. Wow, that was a big hit. Oh, so he's doing the same thing. He's using a preparation technique. Good. So we'll try again. I assume he's going after this guy. So we'll help take down his avoidance. Man, these guys. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of them. Huh, so they're all gonna shoot at one person, which means he's definitely gonna get overstressed. Oh, yep, and now they can hit the back line. So let's see here. We'll try and take these guys out. I think that's the best option. Of course, he's still got, what, two health? One. He's got one hit point. Can't believe it. Hey, let's shoot him again, I guess. Terribly unfortunate. Right, we gotta take this guy down. There we go. Yep, he's got nobody guarding him. So I don't think anybody can stop him now. Oh, but he can't fire back there, so. Here we go. Won't quite be able to kill him. But we'll do some damage. Oh, maybe not. He's got too much armor. But he can do damage. Perfect. So now we just got these riflemen to take care of. I think we can handle it. I think so. Yeah, he's definitely dead. So there's nothing we can do with Alistair except fire off pistol shots. Oh, but he can fire a pistol too. If he does any preparation move, he'll be shot. So there's just no point for Charlie to do that. Let's see what he can do. 
Oh, he's preparing to hit him? Well, that's not gonna work out. They're just gonna shoot him. And he's asleep. Yeah, knew that was coming. Oh, they're going after him. That's weird. Should have finished uh, off this guy. The pacifier. A weird name, isn't it? Hey, what's your title? Oh, I'm the pacifier. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's shoot this guy. Not much I can do. Not with him. Oh, nice. That was a cool move. Just keep shooting him. He's got to die eventually. Here, let's uh, take care of this guy. Let's see if this helps at all. Oh, it took off one. It took off one negative effect. Oh, nice. He's going to guard him now. We'll see if that helps. Let's try this. I don't know how it works with guard, but I should be guarding him. And we just keep shooting the brass gunner. Oh, he's preparing too. Yep, trying to kill him. Not gonna happen. You guys are screwed. Might be time for a tactical retreat. They have no avoidance, so even though Charlie is going next round, where they would regenerate their avoidance, they don't have any, so... Kill you next round. Nice. So now he's preparing on this guy. See ya! Okay, good. That's a win! Thank you, champion! And, uh... Random citizens of Bran? How are things looking, soldier? Not too good, sir. We've been able to hold this position so far, but the attacks just keep on coming. We're cut off from the upper city and any reinforcements from the castle, so it's just a matter of time before this outpost falls. I hope the champions can do something about this, and soon. We will, soldier. You have my word. Kiba, the stash is just a little further down this way. Just enter through the gate and search to the left behind the statue. Enter through the gate and search to the left. Okay. We shouldn't have any trouble getting past the guards. Champions are allowed to come and go as they see fit. Okay, cool. What is this? Citizen and a girl. So let's see if we can find this stash. Ruth, huh? What do you want from an old woman? Anything interesting happen in the kingdom? I don't pay attention to anything anymore, son. Ask someone younger. Wait, one of these days I heard some gunshots and blasts. Maybe it's war. Maybe it's fireworks. I don't know. Okay, so we're... Goodbye, son. We're just gonna ignore her. She's not very helpful. What is this? Oh, water. And does that do anything for us? We broke it. Great. Well, that's my bad. Private Lewis, I'm listening. That seems like our guy. You don't happen to be the soldier who brought Captain Brand's body to the morgue, do you? Yeah, that's me. Why are you, though, interested in that all of a sudden? We're looking for the people behind his death. Tell us everything that you remember about that day. What can I say? Thoth and I were out catching Beth Pierre's survivors near the upper camp. In one of the courtyards to the right of the upper camp, we found the captain's body, and he wasn't breathing. We took him, and he wasn't alive. He was covered in blood. Thoth <laughs> took the captain's death hard. At first, he cried like a baby, and he drank himself silly for two straight days. 
We'll take a look at that place. The Upper Bespierre camp, you say, right? Yes, to the right of it. There's the courtyard with a gate. That's where we found the body. Thanks, Private. You've helped a lot. Okay, so... Now we've got... Hurry along, what are you waiting for? So we've got more... Oh, shit. So we don't want to go that way yet, do we? So we do have a, an option to go down that way, I think. I'm not real sure how that works yet. But we're looking for a statue. And I'm... Geographically challenged, so he told me the directions and uh, it didn't make any sense to me. But let's see if we can just round the bend here. That it was in a statue, right? Probably up in here. Ah. Soldiers, brothers and sisters, there has been a great loss in our ranks. Captain Frey perished the other day under enemy fire. We all knew him as Captain Bran. Those best Pierre bastards will pay for what they've done. No matter the cost, justice shall be done. All right then. So this looks to be the statue that we were looking for. Anthony Havermat. The power is in your hands till this all Powers in your hands to end this all. Oh, okay. So let's ah, the stash, safe and sound. It's a blessing no one got their hands on these, especially Bespierre soldiers. How many of these did you hide again? Uh, three in total. This one, one near the first camp we passed through on the way here, and one to the far south in a basement, containing an alchemy brewing kit. Well, I'll be. We should hurry up and find the rest. Um, what did we get exactly? What did we get? Oh, boots. I think we got boots. Let's see if we can equip boots. How does this work? Why do I keep getting confused? Ah, boots. So we can equip these. Good pair of boots. Pretty stylish. Excellent. Well, we like to be stylish when we're killing people. It's important. So let's head back to Major Kurtz. Yes, Major Kurtz at your service. We're looking for any information about a man named Greg? Greg, you say? What if I do know the name? And where from do you know it? And why should I discuss my people with strangers? Don't be upset, Major. We're here to help. It's true, though, that we probably can't help Greg anymore. What about him? Why should I listen to you? Flux, the caretaker of the morgue, showed us something terrible. A few days ago, a severed hand was delivered to him. There was a tattoo of the name Greg on it, as well as some other kind of military tattoo. What are you saying? And what kind of tattoo was that? There was a three-barreled revolver and a pendant. Hmm... It's hard for me to listen to this, champion. Well, it looks like Greg finally been found, but unfortunately not all of them. Other than that, the hand was also grasping a playing card with a strange symbol on it. Oh, Greg, that old dog was still on the trail of those bastards. Time to shed some light on this whole situation. We're trying to find the people responsible for his death. I don't think you're up for the challenge. Even a champion like you, but I have no choice. All my officers are on the front line. If you still haven't heard the story of the red card, then it's time I tell it to you. According to the legend, many years ago, some poor fellow went into a local tavern with his pockets bursting with gold coin. For a week, he spent his money left and right, treating everyone with food and drinks. He explained that he acquired his wealth by winning it in a secret ritual. Ever since then, the legend's been spread among the commoners. They say there is a so-called lottery in Bran that goes by the name of Red Card. Anyone that wishes to try their fate in the lottery must be must find a secret room with a deck of cards. No one knows where that room is or how to get in there. There is a 100% chance to win, but it can't stop those wishing to participate. What happens to those that fortune does favor? 
Keep listening. We'll get there. We didn't much, pay much mind to these rumors until we started hearing reports that people were going missing almost daily. The commandant's office was flooded with tears of mothers, wives, and sisters who have lost their breadwinners. In almost all the cases, the damn red card was behind it. No one knows what happens to those who aren't lucky enough to pull the red card. They just disappear. It's all so silly. You know, we tried to make a law forbidden, forbiddening even the mention of that lottery. Anyone who says the words red card all allows goes to jail for a month. That doesn't help. Even the smallest chance of getting rich quick outweighs the fear in people's mind. People keep disappearing one after another. Very unfortunate story. And how is Greg involved? He's my best agent, my best officer. The symbol you saw in his hand was a distinctive mark of the Black Crane unit. Greg could easily handle a crowd of drunken bandits. He could take out a group of moyers with his bare hands. But this time, it appears, old Greg just couldn't manage. He was supposed to find out everything about this damn red card under the guise of an ordinary poor man. At first, all went well. His reports pointed that he was on to something. In his last message, he wrote that he was getting close to unraveling it. And that he'd found the first key. Then it all ended. Two weeks went by without a word. Did he say anything about the key? Yeah, he said some utter nonsense. I searched for the sun over my head, but it was under my feet the whole time. Something like that from what I can remember. There was an image of the sun on the card that was in Greg's hand. That shed some light on the situation, but it still sounds strange. I can't figure out what he meant by it. Another thing I remember is that he found an old woman, the mother of one of those missing. I think it might be worth your time to find her first. We'll do everything uh, that's in our power. Keep me in the loop. Okay, so we found out more about the red card. Great. We have so much going on here. And wow, we can go all the way back here. Awesome. Oh, and there's another like place that we can go here. Huh. Oh shit, we're stuck though. <laughs> Is there anything back here? Is there any reason I'm back here? Doesn't look like it. No, let's get out of here. So there is this place. I kind of don't want to go anywhere until I return and heal up winds. But we're doing this. This is happening. So let's take a look inside real quick. Tired of in-game hints? Deal with it. Oh, yeah, we already saw that one. Oh, this all looks very interesting. Hmm. And there's a guy in here. Private Sharp. Lucky Birth's Helm. Birth Warner was a brave warrior in his time of the King Christian. What's this? Cannonball that killed Counselor Ilias. <coughs> the bravest but unsuccessful endeavor to explore the world outside Bran was performed by Private Ernesto Corvalin. Armor. Wow, this is a lot to read. Night of the Blazing. I am not reading all this. It doesn't seem that interesting. Governor's notes. That night I shot more bullets than our whole troop in half a year of boot camp. Interesting. I'm sure it's very interesting. Bulge? Ugly. I don't know what that says, actually. Legendary defense weapon. Beast 13. It looks like a beast. And this is a statue. Storm Raker, brilliant tactician and skirmish. Strong, big, cool. Okay. Okay, just a museum, it looks like. Nothing terribly interesting. I'm listening. Let's see. What's with the objects on the walls? Are we in a museum? It's Brands Hall of Valor. This is a collection of all the significant artifacts related to the history of our victories and defeats. Okay, have a good day. So, I don't see anything terribly interesting in here yet. Maybe there will be later? Might have eaten too much beef jerky. Got a bit of a sore jaw. 
it was worth it. So let's see. Wow, we got plenty of medical supplies now. The problem is she's got a um, disability now. What is this? Feebleness. Permanent feeble status. Don't even know what that does, but it sounds terrible. <clears throat> so if we go up and over here, and we go around the bend, maybe. This is quite a large map. Ah, oh, there's another thing here. Well, we're going to try and go over here. Let's see what this does for us. Does this lead to some place? Yes, it leads to Murder Place. This is the place where Captain Bran was murdered. So that's now on our map. We're going to go back to the Spicy Wind Tavern. And we're going to go find out about Bran. We're going to find out about Bran on the next episode. So thank you for joining me on this one. We will see you on the next.